Keelan Bishop here, and I want to do a quick tutorial on how to remove any background from any photo. So I just went over to my Facebook page real quick and saved this photo, and I'm going to open it in Photoshop. Okay, remove the background. So open it in photo. See, one of the cool things about Photoshop is once you learn the controls and the quick keys and the key commands, you can become efficient and move pretty fast with Photoshop. So now I have my photo. Um, I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger so I can. I really don't need to, but I'm make it bigger, like my image size. So I probably get a better resolution. I'm putting it at 300. I'm gonna try to do this tutorial pretty quick. Uh, it was kind of big, so I'm gonna zoom out. Control zero is what I just hit, or command zero, that's how you zoom to normal. Or you can hit control minus to zoom out, or control plus to zoom in. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to remove all of this background right here. So hopefully, um, one thing that's so cool about Photoshop, it got some type of technology where it can generate it for you. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. So I'm gonna click, go up here to select, and I'm gonna click subject. And see how good they do for me. Oh, it did pretty okay. So I'm gonna show you where it didn't. You see all this right here? It didn't grab that. Let me see. If you hit the, if you hold the space down, it turned to a hand. And if you hold it, and you can move the picture around while holding the space. So that's a quick, quick command that you can learn easily instead of going over here to the hand and clicking on that just to get a hand. You can just um hold space and then it turned to the hand for you so then get all around my head then get all that space right there then get between my leg and the photo um, actually this is a post that i did for a little girl she had um, spinal cerebellum so i designed this poster for her so i'm just using this photo as a reference so now I will go to my quick selection tool, which is this one right here. It look like a, a circle with like a brush going through it. Then if you hover over it, a picture of an ice cream cone will pop up so you know you got it. So you just click on quick selection tool. And as you see right now, there's a plus sign inside of the circle. So if you hit the bracket key, it'll get bigger. And that's to the right. And if you hit the bracket key to the left, it'll get smaller. So I need it about this size. And as you see the plus sign, that means I'm adding to this. I'm adding to it. So if I click, it should add. See how I add? So I'm going to zoom in with Control and Plus or Command Plus. And that's how you zoom in. Remember, hold space to turn to the hand, and I'm moving it over. So now I can get a little bit more closer and add in this frame. See, now I got too much. See, this one kind of hard. So if you ever get too much, you just hit the Alt key and it'll turn to a minus. Ugh. Just want to fight me today. Time to a minus. This one. Plug I want all this. I want all this. I want all this. I want all that. I want all that. You can hold it. You don't have to keep clicking as long as you know which part you want. And if you ever get too much, just hit the Alt key and turn to a minus, then click. It should fix it for you. I want all this. I want all this black. A little too much. Hit the all key and, and subtract. 
So I want all this, all this, I want that, that. Usually it do a good job for me automatically, but I guess the quality of this picture, I guess. I don't know if it's because it's a screenshot from a video or what, but that's what might be the main reason why it didn't do it automatically for me. So I want all this. I want this. All I want this little part right here, so I'm gonna hit the Alt key and erase that part. I want this black. I want my shoe in it, so I'm gonna add my shoe. Why is it doing me like this? Usually it don't. So I want to add this, this, this. Hit the space, move it over. I'm gonna hit Control and zero just to see how much I'm how much I got left to do. So if you zoom out you look like you can see a pretty um good shape so I want to zoom in real quick control plus hold my space so I can move my picture around okay this this is a cool part that I'm gonna teach you right here um use the bracket to make it smaller and hit alt you're gonna see a minus sign pop up and now i'm taken away from the circle so now i'm taking away from it see and it actually going into the creases between my leg and the poster i'll we'll make it a little bit smaller so i can get in that area hold the alt key and i'm just clicking the parts that i don't want make it a little bit smaller so I can get in this little crack right here hold the alt key and I'm gonna try to get as best as I can that's probably gonna be the best I could probably get a little bit more tedious and zoom in more and try to get all this little space but once I zoom out you really ain't gonna be able to tell unless you just a super person looking for mistakes so Zoom back out. I got this part good enough. I want to get between my arm and my hand. So I'm going to zoom in right here. I hit Control Plus and I want to subtract this because I don't want that in the picture. So I hit the Alt. I'll make this bigger by hitting just the uh, right bracket. Hit the Alt key, turn to a minus, and just hold. I don't want none of this in my picture. Come on, be nice to me. I want my hand though. I'm gonna get my hand, thank you. I don't want that. Let's see. Don't want none of this. And that's really it. That should be good enough. Let's see. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna look at right here in this little circle and see what I got going on. See, it got. So I hold the Alt key and I erase that. And I one click of a button. Control zero. I think above my head is, is some mistakes, so I'm gonna zoom back in with my head at. And I'm gonna erase that with the Alt key and erase this right here. Then I'm gonna fix with my head. Zoom in a little bit more. See if you zoom in, you can see better. So I'm gonna hit the Alt key and fix where my dreads at. I don't need all that right there. Zoom in right above me because that little spot right here. Hit the Alt key. And what's really saving me is because I know my key controls. So it's saving me time. Some pictures you can just hit the subject and it'll be perfect. Like one click and you erase the background. Sometimes you got to do a little tedious job like this. I don't know the specific reason why. But I would guess because this is actually, I think it was a video and I took a screenshot of the video. So that's probably the reason why it came out like that. So now I got all of my photo um, outline, the parts that I want to keep. So you would hold control and C for copy or command C for copy. Then I hit command V for paste. So as you see, it went over here in this area. It's the original layer and the one that I just made. So if you click this eyeball, you can 
she let your background disappear. So let me zoom in. Look like my head got some hair that I think. Then, then grab, and it is right there. So you can either redo it or just get an eraser and just erase it. It's nothing, nothing too big, nothing too serious. Zoom in some more. Just erase it. It's nothing. Then I hit Control Zero to look at it, and I, don't, I cropped out. I could probably fix some extra stuff by, like what my pants and stuff had. I can get the eraser and make it sh straight, but there's nothing like it's gonna make me like, oh my god. So that was really it took me only like a couple of minutes. I could have did it faster. But I'm trying to talk and do it at the same time and teach at the same time. So that's how you remove the background. So let me teach you how to save it. So now I got my background removed. I will keep that hidden though. I'll just delete that. So I will hold it and take it to the trash. Now that's gone. So to save this, I would control shift and S. And I will save it as a PNG. And when you save it as a PNG, it automatically cut the background out for you. And that's it. So if you enjoyed this tutorial and want to learn more about Photoshop and Photoshop tutorials, please feel free to subscribe. This was a quick, easy tutorial on how to remove your background from any photo. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.